is the protagonist in Fallout 3? B. The Lone Wanderer. What is the currency used in the Fallout series? Caps. Which Fallout game introduced the settlement building feature? C4. What is the name of the talking tree in Fallout 3? Aeral. Which faction seeks to rebuild the Commonwealth? Minutemen. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Naquan Jordan, the AI protagonist, and in this video we're going to be creating viral videos using vSub. So these are those viral quiz videos that seem to be doing really well on YouTube and TikTok right now. vSub allows you to make those very easily. They actually have a few different videos you can create. Like you can just add captions to your, um, your already made videos. You can create Reddit story videos, would you rather videos, AI videos. Now this is just the videos where you'll have a voiceover and just some AI images in the background. They got the fake text chain videos and you got your viral quiz videos. And this is the one that we'll be looking at in this video. So I've created two so far just to kind of figure out how it works. And I played the Fallout 1 at the beginning of this video so you can see that one. When you come into vSub, you create your account, you just click on the quiz video and it will give you two different options. You got uh, the standard one and you have the multi-level one. Now, if you're a free member, you can only create five questions, five question video. So I will stick with this number one since I assume most of you guys will be trying this one out for free. So you just click on standard when you go down here you got two different options you got settings and questions i will click on generate questions and what you do is just select any kind of topic that you want to generate your questions for so i just type in uh, godzilla as a topic curious to see what kind of questions it would come up with so you just click on ok you can of course have like a really detailed topic or just put in one word like I did and it does pretty well. So here are all the questions. It created 10 questions. If you have a free account, it would just basically show up to the fifth question and then the rest of these will be left out of your video. So here you can actually edit the questions you want. You can change it into a comment as well, which will just be some text shown up on the screen. So we have, who is the famous giant monster known as King of the Monsters? And that's obviously Godzilla. Pretty easy one. What is the name of the radioactive breath attack used by Godzilla? And then you got the atomic breath. Which actor portrayed Godzilla in the 1954 original film? Now that is a lot harder. I actually would not know that one. So... I'm gonna just trust the AI on it. It says it's uh, Haru Nakajima. So we'll see if that, um, actually I won't even bother looking that up. I'm just gonna assume that's correct. What city is most frequently destroyed by Godzilla in the films? Tokyo. Godzilla is often depicted as a predator of which group of creatures? Other monsters? Uh, I don't know about that one. So private of other monsters. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to delete that one. So if you don't like any question, you can click on delete right here. You can actually delete the options as well. You'll click on this plus to add a new option and you can click on this plus to add a new question. I'm going to delete that one. Which is the nickname given to Godzilla's offspring in some fills? Um, Minilila? Minila? Minila? I have not actually seen that before. Um, I know Godzuki, and um, that's actually the only one I can think of. I remember Godzuki from the Godzilla cartoons, but I don't really know uh, Mini Lila or Mini La. I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna drop that one as well. In the 2014 Godzilla film, what is the code name given to the creature by uh, Monarch? Um. Titanus Gojira, oh Gojira, Titanus Gojira. And next question, which film features Godzilla's teaming up with Mothra 
and Rodan to battle King Ghidorah, and that is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. What is the name of the mysterious organization that studies Godzilla in the films? Monarch. And finally, which film is the first appearance of Mecha Godzilla? And that is Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla. Okay, so we have eight questions here. Um, for the sake of speed for the video, I'm going to drop a few of these questions. So I'm going to drop this one. And I'm going to drop... Majati Gajora. Alright, so I'm going to drop those questions. So we got six questions here. So if we go into settings, this is where you choose the voice settings. You can choose between OpenAI, Amazon Poly, and Eleven Labs. And right now it's on OpenAI, so you can see this is the different voices that I can choose. And what I can do is I can actually go through and listen to all of them and get kind of a um just a feel of what they would sound like the beach was a popular spot on a hot summer day people were swimming in the ocean building sand castles and playing beach volleyball in the kitchen the aroma of freshly baked bread filled the air the loaves were golden brown and crusty on the outside and soft and warm on the inside the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. This simple fact has been observed by humans for thousands of years. All right, let's jump over to Eleven Labs. Now you can add voices with Eleven Labs if you have an Eleven Labs account. I am, I do have an account, but I don't have any custom voices in there. So I'm gonna just play what, um, what's in the default account. In seed time, learn, in harvest teach, in winter enjoy. The ballot is stronger than the bullet. Never mistake motion for action. All our knowledge has its origins in our perceptions. All right, so I'm going to go with Sarah. Um, the 11 Labs credits are a little bit higher than OpenAI and Amazon Poly. Um, I actually have on my, my own website that I'm building right now, OpenAI. I'm using the API for that, and it's actually really cheap, OpenAI. But 11 Labs is the most popular right now. So I'm going to use that one. This is where you would generate your actual AI images for, the, um, for, the, for each slide. Like each question, it will have its own image in the background. Unless you use the multi-level, then it's just one image for the whole thing. So I am going to generate... Should probably do like a... Um, let's do a custom prompt. So I'm going to go with... Just do Godzilla. And for questions, images, generate question images. Yes, it's going to generate images for each question. And then this is just the templates. Um, this is basically where you would put the answer. And that is the keyword for the answer. So that is it. Now I'm going, oh, and of course up here, you can change the language if you like. They got a bunch of different languages. Let's go on continue. So now it's gonna go and actually build the video. It's going to create the audio, create the images for each question, create all the graphics and all that stuff. So I will pause the video and come back when it's done. All right, and it is now finished. So once it finishes, um, just kind of doing like a rough draft of everything, it does give you a video over here of everything, um, everything with the draft, and then I can go in and actually edit stuff myself. So first I'm gonna play the video and see what it looks like. Who is the famous giant monster known as King of the Monsters? B. Godzilla. What is the name of the radioactive breath attack used by Godzilla? A. Atomic Blast. Which actor portrayed Godzilla in the 1954 original film? A. Haruo Nakajima. What city is most frequently destroyed by Godzilla in the films? See Tokyo. Which film features Godzilla teaming up with Mothra and Rodan to battle King Ghidorah? 
C. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Which film marked the first appearance of Mechagodzilla in the Godzilla series? B. Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. And that is the video now. And honestly, that's good. Like, I wouldn't even need to make any changes to that at all. The AI did a good job of creating images. I even like the Mechagodzilla image at the end. But if I did want to make changes, this is all the different changes you can make. You can change it from a image background to a video background. So what you see is behind each question, it just basically zooms in on an image. But you could just have a video background if you want. You can make changes to the voice, the speed, volume, pitch, all of that. And you can preview it as you change it. You can change um, some of the templates for the way it shows the questions, the actual um, font for the text and all of that stuff. You can add shadows, background text, put a box around it and all that stuff. And you can do that for each of the different questions. You can do that for the images as well. Background images, you can change those up. You can have it, um, you can disable the zoom. The zoom is automatic. So if you want, you can disable the zoom. You can use a single background image for everything. And then you can edit the text on the answers. You can edit the color for the timer. You can edit, if you add some actual comments in here, rather than questions, you can edit all of that. And then finally you can edit the padding for the layout. You can actually go in and change the content. I can change the images. I can change the background image, the question image, and I can generate new images using these buttons here. You can also change the audio, change the answer, change the question. All of that stuff can be changed up for every single one of the questions. And right here, they do have some videos. So if you want to use the video background, they have some videos that you can use yourself. They do recommend that you upload your own videos just so that you don't get a um, duplicate content strike. You can also add music if you like. There's a bunch of different songs built in where you can play that in the background and you can upload a logo if you want it to do that. Now, if you're using a free account, there would be a vsub.io um, watermark up here, but I actually decided to upgrade because I'm gonna use this for a few videos. So mine doesn't have a watermark. But once everything is done, you can just click on download right here and you can either download normal MP4 or you can do a transparent video. This is where you would download just the, um, the stuff in the foreground, like the questions and the images, but you would use your own background. So I'm gonna download as a regular MP4. And then that's when it actually renders the video. So this is when it takes most of the credits in your account. All that other stuff we did before only uses a little bit of credits, but this is when the majority of the credits comes out. So when this is done, I will show you guys the final result. And that is it. When it's done, you can just click on download video and you can edit file if you want to go back and edit the video. So that is pretty much it for the viral, uh, viral quiz videos here on vSub. It is actually really easy to use very easy to get these viral videos pumped out. I did want to show off the pricing. So if you want to use it for free, they do have a free trial. You get 500 credits to use it. And it is, uh, it does show a watermark on your videos. The cheapest one they have is $29 a month. For that, you get 5,000 credits and you get, uh, you can top up your account $1 for 300 credits. 5,000 credits that can easily get you like one quiz video does like maybe one or 200 credits. So you can do a lot with 5,000 credits. And they also have some lifetime accounts as well. They got 490 for a lifetime pro and $990 for a lifetime premium. So this is if you decided to really go hard and create, um, create like a full YouTube channel, full TikTok account, and just create a bunch of videos. You can do it very, very easy here. And they actually have a credit breakdown on how much everything costs per credit. 
So it will help you decide what you want to do if you decide to upgrade. So I do have a link in the description to VSUB. I actually have a promo code as well that will give you 10% off whatever you decide to choose. And so if you did like the $29 a month, then it would actually be just a little bit less than $29. 10% isn't much, but it is better than nothing. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, if you want to see me do some more of these other videos, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below. As always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Which city does Godzilla most frequently attack? Tokyo. What is Godzilla's signature attack? Atomic Breath. What is Godzilla known as in Japan? Gojira. Which famous building does Godzilla often destroy? Tokyo Tower. What is the species of Godzilla? Kaiju. What is Godzilla's Japanese name? Gojira. In which year was the original Godzilla movie released? 1954. Who is Godzilla's arch enemy? King Ghidorah. In which year was the first Godzilla movie released? 1954. Which actor played Godzilla in the original 1954 film? Haruo Nakajima.